So, yeah, the first thing I noticed about this whole setup is literally this design is kind of consistent across like the pillows. Yeah, tell us more, like, tell us more about how you got into the whole concept of design. Um, the, the way it kind of came about, I've been doing it for like maybe 10, ten or so years, like the, the skull itself, yeah. um, it's called the Ogre Tooth, it has many, many different names and kind of symbols, but mm. it's, um, yeah, it's a character worth playing, but uh, it kind of came about through just like graffiti really, and then even before that, like, you, you ask, it's, that's an interesting question where you ask me about I came to design and there's a relationship with this because I, it kind of came about from like skateboarding and just yeah. like a whole period of my life from maybe like 10 to 17, 18 like really sk skating and going to my local skate park which was like a youth club yeah. and it was in um, Catrum Place called, and a place called Skater Room <laughs> and it was like a church that was turned into a whole skate park like the yeah. whole church was like a skate park and there was a dude in there who had like um, he had a shop built inside this skate park and he, he made skateboards and t-shirts and like it was just like a self-sufficient skate shop and it was all his own stuff and have wheels and everything and he put me on like when I was like 12 years old just yeah. like showed me like he's like yeah I get these skateboards from like this supplier in France you know yeah. it's like it's cheaper than like everyone's getting it from America yeah. to have to pay shipping but I can do it in France and he give me like dead stock boards and I paint them and print them myself and yeah. show me like how to screen print t-shirts and all this kind of stuff yeah. and I'm just like like I didn't really understand at that point but I was just like exposed that was like my first exposure to like design and like understanding how to like create a brand and build like something and then like the skull itself was just again through like the crossover of skating and graffiti culture also like a big uh big influence in my life when i was young was the streets original pirate material yeah. and that just like slogan of like original original pirate material yeah. and like being a, a pirate and like the skull and crossbones and then look at so many brands into the skateboard world and they all have like a skull as their like logo like zero and like they've all used it throughout their whole you know what i mean yeah. and so yeah that's kind of like the um, incubation period of yeah. like the design itself but i couldn't stop drawing it like it's the only i want to draw other shit like i, I fucking want to be a car i want to be like i want to do comics because my dad as well he was like a, a comic book illustrator like yeah. he worked for marvel at one point and was like like they were sending over screens and like like proofs and shit like this they were yeah. sending them over from from stan lee and then he was having to get them made up into um screens and print the pages yeah you know what i'm saying and they have like a color chart and shit and have to print all of that shit and so yeah. it's kind of like yeah also kind of it within me as well so I, but yeah like that's like my relationship with design, I yeah, guess, and like it. how I like fell into it all. Yeah. They said to me like, throughout my whole childhood, don't do drugs, yeah. don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do. So I think to a, to a certain point where it affected me to like, do, it was like try. <laughs> <No problems. laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? I was like, I don't know, I'm quite a rebellious character as it yeah. is, so it's like, all right, like. Cause you're up to the people smoking weed on the bus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, back yeah. in them days, like it's tagged. Like I can still vividly remember. You know what I'm saying? Like tagged up back of top deck buses, smoked out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that was like my year five, six, and seven. Where I was even going with that story is like, so my I I changed schools, and then I become friends with a, a much down more down to earth group of people, mm. which are much more liberal they had all had different everyone then within themselves had different backgrounds but mm -hmm. like smoking weed was a, a cool thing and it was like a different vibe and like link up at after school and get some weed and then 
like it. Everyone would have gone to the art store that day and got some new pens or some new shit, or would have gone like jack some paint or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then we're all like link up, get a whatever, and just in a room. Everyone with their backs to each other, sketchbooks, yeah. passing the joint round, so just like them way there kind of thing. It was like, it was a real like, yeah, it was a movie in my life.